Hello everyone, Zane here, welcome back to my channel, hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, I'm going over my top 10 items to sell to make Gil on patch 5.3, aka the worst patch for Gil making, in my honest opinion, mostly because thanks to crafting being too accessible, a lot of the end game recipes for crafting and gathering have been dropping in price rapidly because too many people think just because it's easy, we need to sell it for less. No, the demand is there, so there's no reason to be selling it cheaply. And of course, the bots have come back more than ever I've ever seen in my life. And they're basically ruining the marker board by putting too many at once. So, hopefully on your server it's not like this. Alright, so the list here is going to pertain to battle, job people, crafters, and gatherers. So everyone is put into this list, with a couple of honorable mentions from Ishgar Restoration. Alright, so the very first thing on this list is going to be tombstone items, which is Dwarven Chromite, Caprice Fleece, Megalania Skin, Workbench Resin, and Tempest Adhesive. So the very first thing we're going over is the Dwarven Chromite. Alright, now, in my honest opinion, you should be selling these in amounts of 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Alright, because you're going to be needing, you're bringing a lot of these materials to make the new crafting and gathering gear. So, in my honest opinion, I sold them between four, uh, 20 and 40, and they sold quite fine. Alright, uh, disclaimer is always make sure you do your research and look at your prices at your market board first before selling anything. This way you guys don't waste your time or your resources. So we have 85 hits on my server, and they are decently priced around 2500 And if you need any evidence that they have sold all day to, for my server, as you can see, they have been, as you probably can tell, the people that mass produce this stuff will always will be in my in the history on my server. So, but yeah, as you can see, some people sell for 99, some around 25, 20, like I mentioned. But try to stick between 20 and 40. All right. Um, I would go as high as listing three of these items, each one. And that's it. Just let it go. Just three, and then just move on. This way you don't oversaturate. Alright, next is the Caprice Fleece. So the pricing, or the, the, the amounts, are going to be the same for all the tombstone items. Alright, so the Caprice has 66 hits on ours. It's still around 2,500. And, of course, as you can see, they have sold close to 3,000 on my server. I don't understand why people are selling it two at a time. It's stupid, but that's mostly probably bots. But as you can see here, 20, 10, 20 over here. All right. So some people do have my mindset. Next is the Megalonia skin. Alright, uh, they're still around 2,500 to 3,000, 71 hits, so they are stabilizing on here. Uh, they've been selling all day for today. Some groups of five, but again, 20, 40, 10, and these people have the right idea. And the workbench resin. Now you want to run your roulettes that have the Phantasmagoria as a reward. So make sure you do this every single day. Again, Workbench Resin, it's around 2500. And as always, they've been selling all day. And I see amounts of 20, 15, 10. So yeah, they got the right idea. 
which is great. And the Tempest Adhesive. Alright, so 100 hits. Again, around 25 to 3,000. And I guess I'll die by one person, of course. The one person that always sells everything on the Gilgamesh here. And he's been grabbing up all the 10s and 99s, 20s. Sorry, he's the one that does all of the crafts. Uh, every single market you find, that person's always around, which is very aggravating. All right, so that takes care of the Phantasmagoria. Next is going to be the white and yellow scripts. And that is going to be the Slither Sand, which also comes from the Dwarven Beast Tribe. I personally won't use your tokens on the sand because you want to get the mount, which is the tank mount, and the dance, the minion, all those first. Slither Sand, 100 hits, but it takes, I think, 500 yellow scripts to get these. So, yeah, they're very expensive. So, 8,100. Now, for these, you're going to have to look at the recipes. I think it takes three Slither Sands to make a body piece. Alright, so let's say multiples of three will do just fine. Alright, so... 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Stuff like that. Uh, I've been selling all day, which is great. If you really have, if you already have your gear and everything set and you want to make some quick cash, Slither Sand is your best bet. So if you need an idea what to use your yellow scripts on, there you go. Next is going to be white scripts, and that's going to be the Sublime Solution. Now these are mostly just to make the Deft Hand Dissolvents, which you basically are going to be needing for the accessories, I believe. And the uh, body gear. Alright, so because they're limited on what you can use for, they're not as high. But there are going to be around 25 to 3,000. Uh, as public take a wild guess, they do sell pretty decently all day. A lot of people have been selling them at stacks of 99. I'm going to take a quick look at the dissolvents. You only need one per, but then they're also used for the Alkahes as well. So I wouldn't go with 99. I would say go with stacks of 5, 10, which would be just fine. Alright. Now, on to gathering. The only two items that I really found for gatherers best to sell is going to be coffee beans and the brash gold ore. Now, we're going to go with the coffee beans first. Coffee beans is a go-to item for script, event, uh, script farming because of the culinary ones are pretty easy to get. These are going to be on the low side, but because they're very easy to get, a stack of 99 will suffice as fine. Just use pick clean. Don't worry about high quality, just use pick clean, get normal quality, and just keep mass producing these these things. Alright. Not too much today, but they were selling great all day yesterday. Alright, so stacks of 99 will work just fine. Because you need at least two coffee beans to do yellow scripts. Alright, and next is the Brash Gold Ore, because you're going to be needing a lot of Brash Gold Ore just to make the gear. You need around, like, like a little over 50 plates just to make every single piece of gear. Because you need about three plates for each one. Alright, so remember I have 34 hits on my server. Do not, for the love of God, do what this person's doing. No. At least three hits and just wait. Alright? Do not flood it like some of these people are. As long as all these people are doing two to three, that's fine. Do not put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do not put nine at one. No. Alright? Sell them at three hits apiece and just let it go. 
right? And as you can see, it stacks to 99. Best way to sell them. But if you want cash fast, I would go with, like, I would say around 50 a piece. All right, if you can get that many. Or if you like, you can do, I think you need about three per plate. Just double check an armor. Yeah, so summon stacks of three, or increments of three, or should work just fine. And the last one is going to be from Ishka Restoration, and that is the gun metal die. These cost 500 Sky Steel scripts, and as you can see, 52,000. And I'd probably say go up to 60,000. Yeah, you can go up to 60,000, but yeah. Um, if you're going to sell these, please, for the love of God, do not put a mass amount like these people are doing. Don't do it. One or two, max. Just one or two. Don't keep, don't sell three, four, five, six, or seven at a time. Just one. I would say about two hits. And just leave it. Alright? You do not want people to buy a surplus of this and realize, well, I don't need it, so let's resell it. But I have crappy undercutting skills, so let's bomb this just to get rid of it. Don't let that happen. One or two, just fine. And always make them come back for more if they need it. Don't make them buy too much. Alright? Because people tend to do that. So now let's go to the album mentions. These are going to be from Ishgard, one from Gathering, and one from Crafting. So, the other three dyes are Ruby Red, Dragon Blue, or Dragoon Blue, and Cherry Pink. Alright, so here's Ruby Red. Uh, they're a little bit cheaper than the Gunmetal, but 14,000. I want to say up to 15, 16,000. Uh, they, you know, they don't sell as much as the Gunmetal Black, but if you guys don't want to compete with the Gunmetal Black, you can go for the Ruby Red Dye if you like. Dragoon Blue. He's a little bit. Oh, I'll say ignore these two, but I'll say 15 to 16,000. Yeah, these haven't really sold too much on my server, but maybe on your server you have better luck than, I, than we do. And the last one is the cherry pink. Alright, so again, from 13, I would say up to 16,000. And same thing goes for these. On my server, they're not really as, as popular as the Gunmetal Black, but yeah. Hopefully your server is a little bit better. But go with whatever sells the best on yours. Next is going to be from Gathering, and that is going to be the Aether Sand Leaven. Alright. These are pretty cheap on my server. Alright, so, 6, uh, 650 seems to be on mine. People are selling at 6 and 99, which I personally don't think it's a good idea to do that. We'll check the rest of it a little bit. But they did, they are selling quite nicely throughout the day. A lot of stacks at 99. But let's go ahead and look at the recipes that require it. Which is the Death Hand Dissolvent, which only requires one. So, selling 99... Might not be a, a wise idea because most of the gear requires four, three. Well, maybe some people do have the idea, the best idea. Yeah, go ahead and sell that stack of 99 because you're going to need a lot of death hand dissolvents. Alright, so around stacks of 99 should work just fine. Or if you can't get that many or you don't want to burn out on and getting all of them, you can sell them for, uh, for less. Alright, and the last and not least, Titan Bronze Ingots. These are used in a lot of recipes for Ishgar Restoration, as well as scripts. And they won't appear on the market board unless you put bronze in there. 
I guess that doesn't make the top 100 list. Alright, so the ingots, as you can see here, we only have 27 hits on my server, so they can range from 18... Uh, I'll probably say you're around 3,000. But yeah, um... Not too much have sold on my server. I've just taken like half yesterday and half today. Uh, just sell them normal quality. Don't worry about high quality because just, most people don't really need high quality for Ishgard or the script farming. So I'll just sell normal quality. All right. Um, for this, my honest opinion, I would probably sell stacks of five would be nice. All right. That's how I would do it. Alright, so that is going to be my honorable mentions. So again, these are the items that I found that would sell the most on my server. Hopefully they sell as good on your server. Just make sure that you, like I said, do your research, see what sells the most, and focus on those. Alright, your best bet, if I had to choose what to sell, go with the Slither Sand and the Tombstones. Alright. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button so you guys don't miss an upload. And follow me on all my social media at Zane Lionheart on Twitter and Facebook. So until next time, guys, may for walking the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys.